I was as angry as I've ever been because I was like, I, I was angry. You just don't do this. What's wrong with you? You, you go for the, through the full range of emotions of denial, of frustration, of fear, and more importantly, like, well, what do we do now? Well, I think our first reaction was, why, why would you do something like this? You haven't been raised this way or taught this way. You don't act this way. Um, this is ridiculous. This is inappropriate. I mean, you really can't talk to anyone about it. It's like embarrassing. You almost wish your kid was a drug addict. I mean, because that's more, and you could talk to someone about that. Is he going to be a, a sexual pervert, a, 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 an abuser, a um, pedophile, or, or is he going to be one of these people that you see the picture on the internet and a registered sex offender? Is there help? Can, is, he, is he going to be this way, or can he, can he truly get some help? The fears that you have is like, in our case, our son was uh, 15 at the time, and we go, okay, by the time he's 18, worst case, this now becomes a legal matter where it becomes out of, completely out of our hands, and if he's still acting out this way, he can go to prison for a very long time. So we just knew that there was a huge sense of urgency then. And you wonder, well, what kind of families do these kids come from? Well, they come from your normal, average American family, I guess, with, with other children in the family that are average, well-adjusted kids. We talked to counselors there in the area and they didn't know a whole lot more about residential treatment than what we did. And what we did was began to explore. We actually found Oxbow through the internet, exploring, uh, trying to find where we can get specific help in these issues in this area. Probably contact an educational consultant, go online um, and talk to the school, go see the school, and talk to the kids when you're at the school. But you just get out there and research. But there's very few schools that can specialize in that. And if they say at other schools they can help them and they don't specialize, then that's not true. But you, you need to be someone where they specialize in it. We found that we weren't the only people in the world who had issues and, and troubles like this. We, we've gotten tremendous support here through the counselors. It's nice to be with parents that understand, but it's still lonely a little bit. 99% of people will never, ever have any sense of this whole experience. And, and you, you need others around you that, that, that you can vent or just, you know, that understand. We wanted to make sure, however it ends up, that we did everything mm -hmm. we could do to help our son. I think for us, Oxbow is just like, it's an answer to prayer. It was a gift from God to find, to find this place that was exactly what we needed at the time we needed it, and um, still is. There is hope. Um, there is a, a way that you can get your arms around your son and you can, you can actively uh, participate in an intervention that's going to help him. That the worst thing you can do is to, to, be a, to keep it a secret. When a parent starts to feel there is a problem, that is the time they need to take action.